Student loan cancellation? That's exactly right! The other day, President Joe Biden announced a sweeping new policy to cancel student debt for millions of Americans. The policy also extends the payment moratorium and modifies how much borrowers have to pay monthly. Wow, that's some fantastic news! But how does somebody qualify for it? And are there any downsides? I'm Kim, and in today's video, I'm gonna review the new loan forgiveness program and what you'll need to know to see if you'll be able to take part. Are you ready? Let's go! President Biden has now said what he plans to do about student loans. Student loans will be forgiven up to $10,000 per borrower and up to $20,000 for people who get PAL grants. With a presidential executive order, this cancellation will be done. People who are single and make less than $125,000 a year or who are married and make less than $250,000 a year together will be able to get their debts forgiven. The forgiven amount through this student loan cancellation won't be added to your income. Usually, forgiven loans count as part of your taxable income, but in this case, they won't. This is because Senator Chuck Schumer added a clause to the American Rescue Plan that says forgiven loans don't count. Payments on student loans for college will be limited to 5% of a person's monthly income. Federal student loan deferments for graduate loans and Parent PLUS have been extended until December 31st. The federal student loan moratorium, which stopped payments, started in March 2020. It's been pushed back six times, and payments on student loans were supposed to start again on September 1st. The freeze on payments will last until December 31st, and this will be the last time it is extended. President Biden has already forgiven $31 billion in student loan debt for 1.6 million Americans since he took office. This was for specific groups of people, like disabled borrowers, people who work in the public sector, students who were scammed, and students who were enrolled in schools that had to close because of this executive order. It will be for canceling a lot of federal student loans as he promised when he ran for president. At the moment, 43 million Americans owe money on their federal student loans. About 30% of people who borrowed money owe less than $10,000. About half of the people who borrow money owe less than $20,000. Penn Wharton thinks that the government will have to pay $300 billion to make up for this $10,000 refund. According to Liberty Street Economics, this will cost about $321 billion. To give you an idea of what that means, it's the same as the $1,200 stimulus check program. There are some who say that loan forgiveness right now is bad timing, due to the rise in inflation and other economic factors. They're afraid that forgiving the loans will have a negative impact on the economy and raise prices. However, there is a difference between a stimulus check distribution and a reduction in debt that is worth noting. While one pushes money into the economy, leading to higher supply which increases prices, by reducing debt, it has less of a chance to increase spending. Of course, time will tell how this all impacts us and the rest of the economy. But one thing's for sure, it is something a whole lot of people are happy to hear. The successful implementation of this plan will definitely be interesting to observe. Personally, I'm happy whenever we can ease the financial strain placed on people by their student loan obligations. And while $10,000 is definitely helpful, it still means many people will have thousands of dollars left to pay on their student loans. Debt payments are still going to be part of post-college life for many people. I actually made this video that talks all about how to pay off your student loans fast. So click on the thumbnail and I'll see you there!